Oshawa Kunze is a relatively newer and vibrant neighborhood in the south of Harare. It has an approximate population of around 16,000 inhabitants. Though a habitually quiet and strife-free zone, on the 27th of September 2021, a horrifying criminal act was committed. Tinashe Rosaya Paono Shisha, a 48-year-old man, well known by his nickname Bamnini, was a hard-working bus driver and was employed by his brother Francis Moyo. He was married to Rona Masango, a 40-year-old woman. They had five kids together and had built their settlement in Oshiwakunze Phase 1. Rona was self-employed as a vendor at Mpenzanamo Market to fend for their kids. However, their marriage had reached rock bottom because he kept accusing her of infidelity and he suspected that she was seeing another man. Because of the constant strife, she began to sleep in the kitchen while he slept in the bedroom to maintain peace. According to her relative in the picture, Eunice Caetano, she had been arrested on the 26th of September for being an illegal vendor. When she was released and returned home, a fight arose. It is vague how and why exactly they argued, but an argument continued till the next day. Words were exchanged, and in fury, Tinashe took an axe and stuck his wife 14 times in full view of his two minor children aged 9 and 5. He even threatened to kill them too if they made a sound. They sat there in horror as their father severed their mother's hands and skull. After realization of what he had done dawned on him, he then called his brother Francis and told him in Shona, I killed her because she called me a dog and claimed that she had given me an STI. Francis could not believe his ears, so he quickly got hold of one of his conductors who lived nearby to go and check if all was well at their homestead. As soon as he got to the house, he saw Tinashe holding an axe leaving the compound. He rushed into the home and saw Rona's dismembered body in a pool of blood and the two minors sitting in shock. He then alerted the police and Francis, but Tinashe was nowhere in sight. He had fled. The police began a frantic search for the suspect, but he managed to evade capture for two days. He was later found dead two days later at the 265-kilometer peg Mashingo Bait Bridge Road, 15 meters from the highway at Lotumba Business Center. Apparently, he had attempted to cross the border into South Africa, but his conscience had failed him. When they searched him, they found a suicide letter in his pocket in which he blamed his wife for being unfaithful and being hard-headed. The body was taken to Beatbridge District Hospital mortuary. During the funeral, mourners rushed and saved Rona's daughter from committing suicide. She had planned to down red poison as she wailed, failing to accept her mother's death. After many days of mourning, Rona was buried at her parents' homestead in Chihota as the family demanded compensation of cows. This man failed to protect his children. He traumatized them by forcing them to watch him dismember their mother at such a young age. The two minors were later sent to a rehabilitation center for psychotherapy and were recovering. May this story be a lesson to us all that violence solves nothing and it only leaves scars on our children. No human being has a right to take another's life. May her soul continue to rest in peace.